Hi everyone, welcome back to the Soap Throne. I am here tonight to cut the Peppermint Bark Soap. It's been sitting in the mold for two days. I just took it out and I'm excited to see what's on the inside. Let's see, get this lined up. Even though the top didn't come out the way I wanted it to, I'm still excited to see how it looks. All right, here we go. Oops, one second. I must get my paper towel ready. And then we can begin. Okay, now let's see if I can do this without this thing sliding. It's going okay. First cut accomplished. Okay, so there's the first cut. I know the inside looks a little drab as far as the brown goes, but it will darken over time. So that's the first cut. I like this one. Um, and as I suspected, the line did not come out straight, but I am a little surprised here. I thought that this line would be straighter, but oh well. Cut number two. I made another one um, before this, but I thought I would try a second one because I wasn't all that happy with the swirl, but the lines did seem a little straighter. And um, I'm hoping that the brown part gets as dark as it did with the other one. I don't remember it being this light on the cut, but it may very well have been. eventually <coughs> excuse me and don't worry I turn my head and cover my mouth with my with the fold of my arm so I'm not coughing over the soap believe me I'm not um, I forgot what I was gonna say so I'll just wait until I remember If I remember, I have no clue what I was going to say. Okay. And I'm not too chatty this evening. It's been a long day. So currently, my day kind of goes like this. I get up in the morning. Um, I do some business related work. So I'll work on the soap business, whether or not it's, or whether it's making soap or some other aspect of the business. Um, then I go into my job and normally when I come home, I just relax for the rest of the evening, but I wanted to get this cut and get it videotaped. And 
Um, do a couple of other things. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. So, the thing that I'm really finding interesting about this soap is that um, the first time I made it, the batter was thicker as I laid it down. But somehow, the lines still came out straighter. I was expecting the lines to come out more level like how this is slanted here I don't understand how that happened but um yeah I was not expecting that to be the case considering that I intentionally poured it thinner to make the line straighter but I'm not going to complain so if I can remember um, or if the timing works out well, I will try to, um, oops, include pictures of this as it darkens. But let me tell you before I go about the scent. It's so delicious. It smells like, um, a Girl Scout's Thin Mint Cookie. Or, you know, those Andes peppermints, the one that has the chocolate layer, the green layer, and the chocolate layer. It reminds me of both of those. Maybe I'll eat one. Just kidding. I'm not going to eat one. That would not be pleasant. But anyway, let me get the other one so you can see. So, here we go. So, as you can see, the um, chocolate part actually turned quite dark. And then we have the inner part and yes and as it ages the smell just I mean it all really already smells really really nice but as it ages it um, just gets better it's so nice to walk into my home and have this scent so fun well all right everyone that's going to be all for tonight thank you so much for joining me let me pull this back out so you can see again. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to follow as I continue to make soap and um, maybe some other bath and body products, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Again, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.